natin. Okay, so our discussion this uh, afternoon, of course, yung uh, professional conduct and uh, ethical standards. Of course, uh, pag-uusapan natin dito basically yung mga do's and don'ts na kailangan at hindi kailangan i-portray ng isang public officer and employee as a whole. So, yan yung professional conduct and ethical standards na, na meron tayo. Of course, uh, let's start. Okay, tandaan niyo class, yung mga terminologies na to. Of course, the, ito yung mga always ninyong ma-encounter pagdating sa criminology area, lalo na kapag ang subject na dito or uh, subject na to. Of course, pag sinabi natin uh, na customs class, those are the set of uh, values, those are the set of beliefs, uh, paniniwala, and so on. Uh, that is uh, by the force of law. Again, tandaan nyo lang ha, pag sinabi natin customs, those are the beliefs, uh, yun yung mga nakasanayan, of course, that, that, that is uh, given or because of the force of law. While ang traditions naman, of course, uh, same, uh, uh, ano sila class, same denominator, of course, yun yung mga beliefs, mga attitudes, lahat na by unwritten law. Pag sinabi kasi natin unwritten law, those are the things na sinasabi or hindi naman sinasabi na mali, di ba? Ang magsiset niyan is, ng standard na yan, is yung community. Halimbawa, yung pag-boyfriend uh, and pag-girlfriend na hindi pa nakatapos, so hindi naman yun mali. Okay, that is unwritten law. So that is the traditions. While the uh, courtesy, pag sinabi natin courtesy, ibig sabihin, uh, you must pay a respect okay, to your superior. Okay, so yan yung tanatawag natin na courtesy. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng courtesy call when we are in the uh, PNP service. So halimbawa, meron tayong uh, different calls. So we have the Christmas call and New Year's call. Ibig sabihin, during, during Christmas and during New Year as a police officer, you must pay respect sa, halimbawa, you are chief uh, of police sa isang municipality or city. You must pay respect to the mayor or to the uh, governor in province. So yan yung tanatawag natin na courtesy. So we have the exit call. Kapag matransfer ka na sa ibang uh, station or sa ibang uh, presinto okay, or ibang uh, station, of course, you must pay respect. Then you are promoted to the next higher rank. Kailangan mo rin magpaalam or kailangan mo rin magpay respect to your superior. Then kapag nalipat ka sa ibang uh, station class, of course, pagdating mo doon, kailangan mo rin magpay respect or mag courtesy call kung sino yung head doon or sino yung chief doon as a sign of respect syempre uh, baka mabigla na lang siya nandiyan ka na hindi ka nag uh, pumasok sa office niya na reporting okay so yun yung tinatawag na kanina courtesy so we have the different types of courtesy we have the uh, promotional courtesy uh, exit courtesy we have the uh, christmas call and new year's calls and many more so again pag sinabi natin courtesy that you must uh, pay respect uh, to your superior or to your uh, higher uh, person or higher authority sa iyo. Then, pag sa naman natin uh, ceremony, those are the formal event na dinadayuhan. Of course, i-relate natin yan sa, sa PNP. Alam ba, meron tayong uh, merong tanatawag na ceremony kapag si Chief PNP pumunta sa region ninyo. So, you must uh, have, of course, uh, meron yan talaga na formal event yung uh, BIP ceremony na tinatawag natin. Ibig sabihin, that is the formal event na uh, intended for our uh, yung uh, mga higher officials. Of course, ano ba si President pupunta sa region ninyo. So, kailangan na rin ceremony for BIP. Then, we have the social decorum. Ang social decorum class, uh, those are the st uh, set of standards na susunod ninyo kapag uh, meron tayong tinatawag na social graces or uh, it simply means the etiquette, di ba? Kung ano yung ano mo. So, dapat, uh, kapag pupunta ka, halimbawa, sa police officer, dapat yung uh, yung damit mo, nakaplan siya yan. Dapat nakapagupit ka. Then, of course, uh, kapag kumain, meron nito yung tanatawag na etiquette or pagpuha, hindi yung uh, pupunin mo, yung pinggan mo. So, that is not uh, what you call or an etiquette yan or an ethical yan. So, that is, uh, dapat observe etiquette. Okay, ulitin natin. Pag sinabi natin customs, that is by force of law. Pag sinabi naman natin traditions, that is because of unwritten law. Ang courtesy naman, you must pay respect to your superior or to the person. Ang ceremony naman, that is the formal event and the social decorum. 
that is your etiquette. Nakuha niyo class? Nakuha ba? Nasundan? Yes, coach. Okay, sige. Uh, uh, yan, thank you. So, yan. Sabihin niyo lang ha. Of course, we have the PNP for values na sinusunod natin. So, ito yun. Makatao. Of course, we have the uh, pro-human, makabayan, uh, uh, pro-country. Um, or yung sa nationality na tinatawag natin. Makakalikasan, of course, uh, pro-nature and makajos pro-God. So that is the PNP core values class na dapat ninyong malaman. Makatao, makabayan, makakalikasan, and of course, makajos for M. Okay? So those are the uh, PNP core values. Then, of course, pag sinabi natin Father of Ethics class, tandaan nyo lang, pag sinabi natin Father of Ethics, of course, sino yan? Si uh, Edward Louis Bernie. Okay? So, siya yung tanatawag natin na Father of Ethics. Again, ang Father of Ethics natin, si Edward Louis Bernie. Okay, let's proceed to the next slide. Of course, class, uh, when it comes sa Constitution, so we have the 1987 Philippine Constitution of the Philippines that is in Article 11. So, the accountability of public officers, class. Sa accountability of public officers, of course, uh, section 1, nakalagay dyan, that public office is a public trust. So meaning class, public officers and employee must at all times be accountable to the people. Ibig sabihin, yung boss nila is yung community or yung mga tao sa community. So they are accountable. Whether you are a public officer or employee, you must be accountable of what uh, actions na dapat mong sorry, portray as a public officer or employee. Then, of course, you must serve the people with utmost responsibility, integrity, loyalty, and efficiency. Okay, ibig sabihin, uh, you will not be acted in accordance or yung gusto mo or, or according to your um, personal gain or personal perception. Okay, dapat ang uh, susundin mo yung tao or yung hinaing at pangangailangan ng uh, community. Okay, kasi nga nakalagay yan sa ating constitution. Then of course, you will act with patriotism and justice and lead a modest life. Okay, modest. Where hindi, ka nas hindi ka nasusuhulan, yung simple lang, and so on. So again, under the 1987 constitution, uh, the uh, public officer or public office is a public trust. So meaning, whatever actions na gawin mo, halimbawa as a police officer, di ba? Kaya ang uh, nasisira yung uh, image rin ng police officer or ng, uh, ng PNP image natin ng kapulisan. Kasi nga naman, di ba? So yung iba kasi, uh, fault of one is fault of all. So kaya nasisira talaga yung image ng uh, PNP. So yun yung kailangan natin i-uplift, di ba? Yung image or yung imahe ng ating uh, national police. So yan. So again, public office is a public trust. So meaning... The uh, officer or employee at all times must be accountable uh, to the people. And of course, uh, they must uh, be conscious about their actions. So that is uh, para hindi magiging unconstitutional ang kanilang mga actions. Okay? Then of course, class, so we have the Republic Act number 6713. So that is the scope of our subject. So dyan natin kinuha yung content ng subject natin. Pag sinabi natin nga... Uh, Republic Act 6713, that is the Code of Conduct and uh, Ethical Standards for Public Officials and Employees. Of course, alam na alam nyo naman, that is the Code of Ethical Standards and Public and uh, Employees. Then, uh, of course, uh, meron tayong tanatawag na kalagay dito, uh, the study of philosophy and human conduct with emphasis on determination of right and wrong. Again, sige, uh, sagotan nyo klasa sa comment section, basahin ko. So the emphasis or the study of philosophy of human conduct with emphasis on the determination of right and wrong. Okay, so what is your answer? It's a comment section, please. Again, what is your answer?
Okay, so very good. Of course, ang sagot natin yun, class, uh, very basic. Pag sinabi kasi natin ethics, that is the science of what is right from what is wrong. So meaning, ang sagot natin dyan, that is letter B class. Okay, that is ethics. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag natin na ethics. Okay, pag sinabi natin ethics, of course, that is the moral standards governing uh, conduct of a person. So that is uh, basically the study of philosophy of human conduct with emphasis on the determination of right and wrong. So basically, class, ang tinatawag natin na ethics, that is the science of what is right from what is wrong. Pag sinabi naman natin police ethics, ibig sabihin ng police ethics, that is the science of what is right from what is wrong in connection with the police service. So dito natin, pag sinabi natin uh, ethics, that is the science of what is right from what is wrong, while naman ang police ethics, that is the science of what is right from what is wrong in connection with the police a service. Okay? So, nakuha ninyo? Nakuha ba? Okay. Yes, coach. Okay. So, thank you. So, next tayo. Okay. So, dito tayo. Ka. So, of course, class, we have the different types of example of ethics. So, we have the legal ethics. Of course, ka, sa mga abogado, class, meron niyo yung tinatawag natin na legal ethics or when it comes to legality sa medical fields meron din yan medical ethics ang tawag natin sa nursing ethics and of course we have the police ethics okay yun yung mga examples ng ethics class pag sinabi nating morals naman that is the character and behavior from the point of right and what is wrong or right uh, or wrong so uh, of course class kapag sinabi nating moral okay ibig sabihin uh, is your action is moral? Ibig sabihin, tama ba yan sa mata ng uh, community or mata ng tao sa community? So that is what they call the moral, moral rather. That is the character and behavior from the point of right and wrong. Okay, so that is moral class. Okay, so nakuha. Then, of course, uh, basahin siya yung question. So a person who values or follows good conduct even in the absence of religion. Again, a person who values or follows good conduct even in the absence of religion, letter A, morality, letter B, moralist, letter C, good ethics, and letter C, ethicos. Okay, again, letter A, morality, letter B, moralist, letter C, good ethics, and letter D, ethicos. Okay, what is your answer, class? Of course, very basic. no. Ang dali lang, ano yan? Ang dali mo lang i-eliminate yan. So, of course, ang first mo na eliminate dyan, yung, okay, uh, ang hindi tao, kasi person naman yung tanatanong niya. So, meaning, doon ka na mag-focus class. Sa who? Okay. So, ibig sabihin, sagutin mo lang kung ano yung binibigay or ano yung, uh, ano yung inahanap or what is being asked in the question. So, what is your answer? Of course, class, ang pagpipilian mo lang dyan, of course, ang first natin na eliminate is the uh, morality. And of course, the uh, second or followed by good ethics. Ang matitira dyan, pwedeng uh, moralist and ethicos. Of course, ang uh, sagot natin dyan, okay, sorry. Okay, very good, Dan. The, uh, the answer is, that is letter B. That is the ethicos. Or yung, I don't know, that is the moralist rather. Okay, pag sinabi natin moralist, of course, uh, yan yung tanataw na rin na person who values or follows good conduct even in the absence of religion. Again, hindi basihan yung religion kung gagawa ka ng tama at mali. Okay, ang tawag natin doon is moralist. A person who values or follows good conduct even in the absence of religion or kahit walang magsabi sa kanya na ganito yung gawin mo, Gatun ganito yung hindi mo dapat gawin. So that is moralist ang tawag natin dyan. Okay? So yon. Then, of course, we have the uh, professional ethics. Pag sila natin professional ethics, that is the branch of moral science, uh, threats or obligations which a member of a profession owes to the public, to his profession, to his routine, and to his clients. So basically, class, every uh, every field of specialization, meron tayong tanatawag na professional ethics. Ang, ang teachers, meron din silang ethics na sa dapat sundin, di ba? Tayo, mga criminologists, meron rin. 
mga medical technologists, meron na rin. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na professional ethics. Ibig sabihin, every member of the profession must owes to the public, to his profession, uh, Britain, or to his clients. So, meaning he is accountable of whatever actions na meron siya. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na professional ethics. Nakuha? Okay, then of course, we will proceed sa next question. Okay, ang next question natin, basahin ko twice. Then of course, the suggested answer. So, it is the principle that has been expressed traditionally as seeking the greatest good for the greatest number. Again, it is a principle that has been expressed traditionally as seeking the greatest good for the greatest number. Letter A, rules. Letter B, results. Letter C, utilitarian. And letter D, principle of utility. Again, what is the principle that has been expressed traditionally as seeking the greatest good for the greatest number? Okay, so I will count 1 to 10. Then, uh, dapat meron na kayong sagot sa comment section. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, and 9, and a burst at 10. Okay, so let's uh, find out kung nakuha niyo yung tamang sagot. Okay, of course, that is uh, very obvious. Ang sagot natin dyan, that is uh, utilitarian. Yung utilitarian class and principle of utility, that is one and the same. So, kasi ang utilitarian, that is also known as the principle of utility. Pag sinabi natin principle of utility, of course, that is the principle wherein sinabi niya, uh, as a leader or as a person, you seek uh, the, uh, the good. Ibig sabihin, kung uh, ano yung nakakabuti sa nakakarami, so doon ka mag-focus or doon yung ibigay mo. So meaning, uh, the person as traditionally seeking the greatest good for the greater number or basically sa majority ka pipingin. Again, pag sinabi natin utilitarian or principle of utility, that is the uh, greater good of the majority. So yan yung tanatawa natin na principle of utility. So, I hope na, ano niyo, halimbawa, in uh, 100 employees or halimbawa sa, sa PNP, so uh, ganitong number, kung ano yung pinaka 80% na nakakabuti sa kanila, ganito, okay, 20%, uh, hindi. So, of course, doon ka mag-focus sa 80% or yung agree, uh, agree to the proposal is uh, only 80%, tapos yung... Uh, nag-disagree, 20%. Of course, ikaw na leader or as a, as a person, dapat ang focus mo, kasi syempre, marami nag-agree, so doon ka sa pinaka, sa majority. Wala kang magagawa kasi yun yung majority. Eh. Kasi kapag hindi mo or it is uh, respect mo yun or hindi mo sundin yun, so meaning, uh, there is a problem when it comes to implementation. Kasi baka um, uh, masyadong ano, kasi ano yun eh, it represents the whole of the uh, yung pulso ng bayan or pulso ng organization mo or subordinates. Yan yung tinatawag natin na principle of utility. Okay? So, nakuha ba? Nasundan ninyo, class? Wala naman? Okay. So, okay. Mas maganda pala ito yung ako yung magbabasa ng question then sasagot kayo. Of course, uh, on the following uh, ano natin, magkakaroon pa tayo ng papapasahin ko pa rin kayo bukas sa research. Okay, dito tayo. Of course, we have the ethical basis. So, pag sinabi natin yung rules, okay, of course, uh, yung uh, tanatawag natin na rules, of course, yan yung pamantayan natin or doon tayo nakabase. So, uh, we accept it for our personal behavior because we believe them to be given by divine revelation or because we believe them as necessary parts of social contract to protect and further human welfare. Pwede uh, ito, yung, um, ito yung gusto. Okay, ng divine or yung, uh, of course, uh, ang God. Okay, or uh, it will be, uh, it will help to protect the welfare of the people in the community. So that is the rules. Then, of course, we have the uh, results. Ang results that is uh, the utilitarian principle focuses our attention and the consequences of our action. So it is being expressed traditionally as uh, seeking the greatest good for the greatest number or the majority. So that is. Of course, pag sinabi nating uh, relationship, of course, uh, kay Confucius yan, 
a golden rule of caring. Do not do unto others what you don't want others do unto you. So, of course, di ba? Kung uh, uh, ayaw mong gawin sa iba, okay, of course, do not do unto others what you don't want others do unto you. Kung uh, ayaw mong gawin sa iyo, huwag mong gawin sa iba. So, that is the golden rule. Okay, so, yan yung, uh, kumbaga, karma. Okay, the golden rule ni uh, Confucius. Then, of course, we have the accountability and action. So, of course, for public safety and uh, for public safety, Una-una dyan, the uh, accountability in government and in civil society. So there is a network of accountability between the different organs of the state. So uh, every state, of course, uh, babalik na naman tayo sa constitution, public office is a public trust. You must be accountable to the people. Whatever actions you, uh, pwedeng kong positive yan, okay, okay, nakakaraan, nakakaano yan. Pero kapag negative, of course, uh, hindi yan siya acceptable. Or uh, you must face the consequences behind that. Then, of course, we have the accountability and management. So public service are mostly hierarchical, which uh, each office are accountable to a manager. So, of course, uh, kaya di ba, responsibility, accountability is very important. So kapag may ginawa yung subordinate, babalik at babalik yan sa pinakahead ng organization or ng agency. That is accountability and management. Then accountability to public. So public servants are accountable to the public that in name they are appointed to serve. So that is accountability to public. So they are uh, public offices of public trust. Hindi yung, uh, di ba, uh, na experience yun. Ang daming experience no, na nagmamaldita sa mga public offices and agencies. So yan, they, they should be accountable to the public. So dapat, uh, they will treat them so in a nice way naman. Kasi accountability to the public officer. Okay, dito naman tayo, class. So failure to perform an act which one is obligated or permitted to do either by law or directive due to omission or failure to recognize the obligation. Ulitin ko. Uh, failure to perform an act which one is obligated or permitted to do either by law or a directive due to the emission or failure to recognize the obligation. Of course, ang tabata, i-encircle yun yung tinatawag natin na omission or failure to perform. Then, of course, we have the malfeasance, uh, misfeasance, nonfeasance, and neglect of duty. Okay, so what is your answer on the comment section? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sorry, nine, and ten. Okay, so let's answer this one. Okay, so uh, majority of you answered non -feasance. Okay, very good. Ang sagot natin dyan, that is non -feasance. Kasi, of course, uh, paulit-ulit ko na na-discuss na sa inyo. Pag sinabi na kasi nating malfeasance, of course, tandaan nyo lang yung mal or mali. In English, that is wrong. Ibig sabihin, that is the wrongful performance of an act. Ginawa mo yung trabaho mo, pero sa maling pamamaraan. So, that is malfeasance. Pag sinabi naman nating misfeasance, of course, tandaan nyo lang yung letter I. So, of course, yung I that stands for improper. Pag sinabi na nating improper, so meaning, uh, ginawa mo yung trabaho mo pero may in, in an improper way. Or um, yun yung tanatawag natin na uh, nakasakit ka pa or nanagdagan mo yung problema na nag-arise. While ang non-feasance naman, of course, tandaan nyo lang yung O dyan sa non, ibig sabihin, omission or failure to perform. Again, pag sinabi natin non-feasance, that is omission or failure to perform. Then, uh, of course, pag sinabi natin uh, neglect of duty class under the professional conduct and police ethical standard, that is also known as the non -feasance. So, meaning, it is the omission or failure to perform which one is obligated to do. That is the neglect of duty or non -feasance. Pag sinabi naman natin irregularities in the performance of duty, ibig sabihin, that is a misfeasance. So, meaning, that is the improper Performance of some act which might lawfully done, okay, improper. And then, of course, we have the malfeasance. Ang malfeasance, of course, that is the uh, 
wrongful or intentional commission of a prohibited act that is uh of course uh, act orientational unjust performance which the party had no right again for example the nonfeasance that is omission or failure to perform misfeasance or irregularities in the performance of duty this is improper and then is uh, malfeasance that is the wrongful or intentional commission of a prohibited act okay under professional conduct and police ethical standard then pag sinabi natin rogues cap class tandaan niyo pag sinabi natin rogues cap that is the new policeman that was involved in illegal activities again ang rogues cap new policeman that is involved in illegal activities while yung uh, straight shooters naman, tandaan nyo, pag sinabi natin straight shooters, that is basically the honest policeman. Ibig sabihin, um, ano talaga, uh, it's good to be true. Kung ano yung nalalaman niya, sasabihin niya talaga. Okay? So, kung ano yung uh, tama, yun talaga yung ano niya. So, that is the honest policeman. Okay? Then, of course, we have the camaraderie. Pag sinabi natin camaraderie, that is the uh, brotherhood. Di ba, kapag pumasok ka sa... Um, sa sorority that is the sisterhood sisterhood kapag fraternity that is the brotherhood so of course ang camaraderie there is a brotherhood where uh, we have the valor or valor pag sinabi natin valor we say in that there is a bravery because of your bravery so uh, or yung uh, ano mo gallantry okay um in the call of duty kumbaga kahit na ma uh, nakataya yung buhay mo nilalaban pa rin yung bansa that is a uh, valor or bravery. Pag sinabi naman nating gentlemanliness, ibig sabihin, you are a polished man. Okay? So, yun yung gentlemanliness. Then, we have integrity. So, pag sinabi nating integrity, you have a uh, word of honor. Ibig sabihin, may isang salita ka. Kung uh, uh, ano yung sinabi mo, so, it will be done at the end of your duty or uh, of your tenure. So again, pag sinabi natin rules cap, new policeman that was involved in illegal activities. Pag sinabi naman natin straight shooters, those are the honest policemen. Camaraderie, brotherhood, valor, bravery, gentlemanliness, polished men, integrity, word of honor. Okay? Naintindihan ba? Naintindihan niyo, class? Yes, coach. Okay, so yan. Sabihan niyo na ako kapag oh, hindi niyo naintindihan. Of course, pag uh, sa continuation kanina class na sa malfeasance, so we have the misconduct. Okay, pag sinabi naman natin misconduct, it is the wrongdoing or violation of departmental procedure. Okay, yung misconduct, ibig sabihin ng misconduct class, you conduct yourself improperly, kaya diba? Misconduct. So, halimbawa, uh, magjujuti ka, ikaw yung in charge ngayon, or ikaw yung naka, nakatoka or yung time mo na mag sa police station or sa station ninyo, pero naka-short ka lang, uh, ano pa, nakasando. So, that is a misconduct. Wrongdoing or violation of departmental procedures. Dapat, of course, you will conduct yourself. Dapat naka-proper naka, naka proper uniform ka, naka-proper haircut, and so on. Yun yung kanatawa natin na misconduct. Okay? So, yan. Okay, so yan. Okay, so yan class, yung tinatawag natin na miskanta. Okay, so yan. Nagpabili muna ako ng kape. Okay, kasi kailangan natin ng kape. Dapat three times a day magkape. <laughs> okay, nagkakape ba kayo? Hindi kayo nagkakape? Hindi? Okay, so... Nag magkakape kayo pala ano ba? Hin Ay hindi si Dan nagkakape. Okay, dapat nagkakape ka Dan kasi that is uh, for brain booster. Dati nung sa Baguio ako, uh, hindi ako nagkakape pero ay nung uh, galing ako dito sa Mindanao or sa Jensen at sa South Cotabato. Before ako pumunta sa Baguio, hindi talaga ako nagkakape, hindi ako ano. Pero nasa Baguio kailangan mo talaga eh kasi malamig tapos yun pala daw na explain na brain booster pala yung kape. So mga darin yun. Pag ganitong oras, yes, nagkakapi. Nagkakapi na ngayon, di ba? Tapos ang da, uh, kapag morning, mainit. Kapag ganitong oras, ang, ang init kasi sa, ano eh, sa Jensen. Galing ako ng Dabao kahapon. Uh, ay, yung ano pa, nung Saturday. Uh, kagabi ko lang na, ano, nakauwi. 
So, ano, iced coffee naman. So, maganda rin. Kasi pa, para ma medyo hindi masyado mainit. Morning, yung mainit naman. Exo coffee lang. Uh, ano yung exo coffee? Uh, yung ano yan? Yung candy? Ano yan pang bata? <laughs> uh, okay naman. So, ang ganda, ang, ano yun? Yung mga student doon. So, ang iba kasi yun, class, mag... Uh, magte-take sila ng uh, ano pa sa August pa yon mga fourth year yon class final coaching na lang kahapon kaya doon kami lahat ng cream coach kasi cream coach ang nag-handle sa University of Mindanao uh, the, well, before pa di ba so yung first uh, top notch nila ang nag-produce noon is uh, cream coach hanggang nakuha na yung strategy kaya ang daming uh, top notch so uh, hopefully this um, August or after your board exam class sa January ay sa February so siguro nasa Davao na ako kasi ang cream coach yung maghahanda sa kanila 600 plus yun eh so yung review center ko yung maghahanda pero face to face siguro mawawala na yung online ko kayo siguro yung first and last na online na um, i-cater ko class uh, kasi of course di ba sayang naman kasi dapat kasi yung yung passing rate nila makontinue yun kasi medyo nag bumaba eh Okay so uh, grabe pala yung impact ng ating ano no nung ating yung page natin or yung ano hindi ko alam yung lahat pala doon followers ko <laughs> kaya ang saya kasi di ba fulfillment yung class kasi marami silang natutunan sa iyo parang may connection na kayo kahit nasa kahit nakikita lang nila ako sa ano kasi hindi pa naman ako nakapunta sa kanila before uh, may dalawa akong review center na hinahandaw sa Davao pero sa UM uh, kahapon sa ano nila sa final coaching so di ba uh, yan yung fulfillment kapag pumupunta ako sa ibang lugar di ba so uh, parang excited na excited yung mga students then of course kapag face to face class ano yan hindi nila na mamalaya ng oras di ba yung iba kasi gusto nila umuwi kapag naboboring sila kapag face to face class ang uh, walang boring sa atin <laughs> so hopefully ma meet ko kayo in person lahat di ba so maganda class uh, siguro kung hindi uh, kung hindi ko push yung page ko dati uh, medyo ano na yan. Hindi tayo nakatulong sa iba. So di ba? Ngayon uh, kailangan mo na talaga mga ano na lang fulfillment mo yon. Kaligayahan mo na lang kapag na-appreciate nila, di ba? Na-appreciate nila. So meron na ba yung ano. Sige lang makikita tayo soon, di ba? Uh, nandito ba si Lawrence? <laughs> Bakit wala si Lawrence kahapon? Wala ba? <laughs> May klase? Okay, so yan class. Of course, uh, let's continue. Pag sinabi natin yung competence, of course, the manifestation of lack of adequate ability and fitness. So you are incompetent. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi mo perform ng maayos yung duty mo. So of course, class, kapag there is an incompetency na mangyayari, of course, you are subject for separation. You are subject, pwede kang ma-demote from your, from your rank. So yan. Actually, class, uh, uh, nasa labas ako ng bahay, ah, kasi mainit sa loob, eh. Okay, kaya dito ako sa labas ng, um, uh, ano, kaya kailangan mo talaga mag ano, dito. Palaging may, ano, uh, at maligo ka ng three times a day. <laughs> kasi malapit sa sanang Jensen, eh, kaya medyo, ano. Then may mga aftershocks kasi, mabuti yung mga ilang araw na, yung one day na lang ata, wala, walang aftershock. Kasi medyo nakakatakot, eh. Then of course we have the oppression. Ang oppression it is an act of cruelty, uh, severity and local execution, domination or excessive use of authority. So there is an oppression in your part. So bawal na bawal yan class lalo kapag police officer ka. Bawal yung uh, paggamit uh, ng excessive use of authority or force. So that is an oppression. Okay, dito tayo. Then, uh, of course, we have the dishonesty. Okay, sorry. Kapag uh, dishonesty, that is the concealment or distortion of truth. Itatago mo ngayon ang katotohanan, di ba? Sa kahit aminan man natin o hindi, ano ba, sa police service, uh, kapag may gustong uh, ayaw ipa parating sa public, of course, class, uh, hindi ka dapat doon magpahiro. So, alam mo naman, di ba, na ano, so, hindi ka naman yung masyadong honest bawal rin yan. <laughs> so kahit aminin natin no hindi no, hindi na kasi kapag uh, masyado kang honest doon, ano yung mangyayari sa iyo class? 
kapag masyado kang honest, ano ba, may kapag member ka ng organization, masyado mo ibulgar or ganito ganyan. So first class, madali na yung buhay mo doon. Okay, so patay ka talaga. Okay, no, hindi naman. Pero uh, parang gano'n na nga. Okay, so that is the dishonesty. Okay, concealment or distortion of truth. Okay, so yung mga white lies, uh, okay pa yun, acceptable. Pero of course, dapat alamin mo yung organization na pinili mo or na pinasukan mo. Then of course, we have the disloyalty to the government. So ang um, disloyalty to the government, of course, that is the abandonment or denunciation of one's loyalty to the government of the Philippines or advocating the overthrow of the government. So of course, pwedeng uh, mag-commit ka ng rebellion, kudita, and other so on to overthrow the government or to change the existing government. So that is the disloyalty to the government. Then we have the violation of law. Ang uh, violation of law uh, presupposes conviction in court of any crime or offense uh, penalized under the revised penal code or any special law or ordinance. Of course, kapag nakakomit ka ng crime, you are accountable of your actions. So that is the violation of law. Okay? So yan. So kamusta naman yung uh, face-to-face uh, review ninyo class sa mga review center ninyo? Okay naman? Okay naman? Saturday, Sunday lang ba yung klase nyo? Saturday, Sunday lang yung yung sa inyo, sa review ninyo face-to-face? Bakit walang sumasagot? Baka nakatulog na kayo, ah. Ha? Face to, ano ba? Monday to Friday lang? Ay, Saturday, Sunday lang? Bakit walang sumasagot? Ay, walang sumagot. Okay na lang. Ah, okay, grabe si Sir uh, Kader, oh. Okay na lang daw. Okay. So yan. Patay. Patay tayo diyan. Medyo kinabahan ako sa sagot niya na okay na lang. Okay. So so bakit maraming nag bakit maraming nag uh, ano sa akin class? Ba, bakit maraming nagme-message na hindi ano hindi naka sa akin dito uh, sa cream coach na marami ano nawawalan na sila ng pag-asa kasi baka hindi pa sila ready or kulang yung naturo sa kanila Saturday Sunday lang. Uh, next time na nila sila mag-board exam. O, di ba? Ang dami kong hinaharap na problema palagi. Everyday class, ang dami nag, nagpapa-advise. So, yan. Kailangan ko yan sagutin lahat, di ba? Ah, Saturday, Sunday lang po. Ah, Thursday and Friday lang, sir. Ah, okay. So, medyo kulang talaga. No? Kasi ganito class, ha? Kasa, as a lecturer, alam nyo, yung ibang students, yung maganda yung uh, foundation nila, hindi naman talaga kailangan yan ng uh, ano, sabihin mo na ano ang ibang students class uh, 10% lang na lamang din sa mentor ko uh, 10% lang halimbawa 100 kayo na pumapasok sa review center yung face to face only 10% lang pala diyan yung motivated okay so only 10% lang pala yan, pala diyan ang motivated ibig sabihin na uh, motivated na pumasok or motivated na pumasa okay ang iba naman diyan ang kailangan ng nila class is yung talaga yung advice or kailangan na na mag mag mag-boost ng confidence nila. Ah, kailangan ko to ng ganito ganyan. Kaya yun na rin yung mga natutunan ko sa mga medyo ano, yung mga mga mentors ko na of course il- ilang years na ilang led, ilang uh, ilang dekada na sa lecture. So ganun pala. So may mga students na ready ready na yan mag mag-board exam pero kailangan ng nila ng ano, kumbaga kailangan na nila class ng ano, mag-boost ng confidence nila, 'di ba? Kayang-kaya nila yan ipapasa yung board exam. Okay. Two days na nga lang, sir, minsan ang ingay pa. Parang lecturer na nagiging lecture din. Ah, patay. Medyo problema yan. Okay, kaya kaya class, kaya pag may, nag, may nag-chat sa akin na medyo nawawalan siya ng gana, ganito, ganyan, nare-replyan ko yan para mag-boost ang ano, confidence niya. Tapos kapag sa face-to-face, alam ko yan, may magagaling na demotivated. Okay ba? May magagaling na hindi po mapasa. Kasi ang kailangan niya dyan, class, yung boost ng confidence, di ba? So, yun, class. <laughs> Naiingay pa. Gusto, gusto palitan yung lecturer. Okay. So, of course, class, ang corruption, it is a forbidden act involving uh, misuse of office or gain. Yan yung tinatawag natin na corruption. So, of course, that is, um, kumaga, di ba? Since time immemorial sa Pilipinas, kahit sa ibang bansa naman, di ba? Lahat, there is a corruption existing. Then, uh, as a police officer or in the PNP service, meron talaga tayong tinatawag na favoritism or unfair 
or breaks to friends or relatives or yung tinatawag natin na nepotism or yung backer system. Kapit kahit sabihin natin or kahit sabihin ng isang organization na wala ng backer system, still meron pa rin yan. Naniniwala ba kayo class na meron pa rin backer system? Okay, so of course, di ba, kahit anong agency, hindi natin may pagkakailan, no? But of course, um, uh, sanang uh, yung siguro meron na lang 20% or 10%. So sana soon uh, mawala na yan. Yan yung tanatawag natin na favoritism. Ibig sabihin, uh, dapat wala ng backer-backer no para kung sino yung uh, kung sino yung nag uh, tawag nito, yung deserving siya dapat yung uh, mag ano um siya yung dapat nandoon doon sa sa posisyon. Uh, nabalitaan niyo ba yung ano, yung uh, anim na na quit sa sa NCR ba yon sa NCR? 'Di ba? Yung anim na nag-quit tapos ang daming na depress kasi hindi sila makapasok. So sayang no dapat never quit, okay? So never never quit. Kasi uh, sayang sayang yung opportunity class. Uh, kapag pinakain kayo ng ng ano doon ng ng lupa. Kahit anong pakain sa inyo, kainin niyo na. Kasi di ba? Uh, yung pinagdaanan niyo during uh, during recruitment. So dapat hindi 'yun maano. Uh, ano yung palagi? Uh, quitters never win. Okay? So yan yung tinatawag natin na ano, uh, quitters never win. Okay, so kailangan class kapag pumasok kayo sa service, ituloy-tuloy niyo na. Kapag pina, kapag uh, hindi kayo sigurado, uh, huwag kayong makisaba, makipag ano sa bayan, di ba? So sayang naman yung anim na yon, di ba? So sana yung uh, may mas marami pang interesado na hindi mag uh, ano, hindi magki-quit. Then we have the rotten apples. Ang rotten apples class, ibig sabihin, uh, di ba, mayroon tayong isang rotten apple. So hindi mo pwedeng itabi sa bulok o yung mga bulok na apples sa mga fresh na apples kasi of course uh, it will uh, affect them okay maaapektuhan sila uh, katulad diyan sa sa PNP service natin class di ba kung uh, ano yung uh, nakasanayan diyan so dapat hindi yan ma-transfer sa iba yung bulok na sistema ng every organization or every agency so, dapat hindi yan maipapatuloy so ang rotten apples are either weak individuals who have slipped through screening process or succumbed to the temptation in Kiren in police work or deviant individuals who continue their deviances in environment that wow. gives them ample opportunity. Ibig sabihin, pinapatuloy yung maling uh, pamamaraan or yung maling practice. That is the rotten apples. Okay? So then of course, we have the deviance. Ibig sabihin, uh, it is a behavior inconsistent with values or ethics. Pag sinabi natin deviance behavior class, ibig sabihin yan, uh, there is a deviancy. Ibig sabihin, yung ugali mo is hindi pantay or hindi naaayon doon sa dapat mong i-portray. Ano ba, sa police officer, ganito yung dapat i-portray mo. You have the authority, you have the power. But then again, medyo kapag may criminal, medyo na ano ka, oh. uh, na, na overpower ka niya. So that is, there is a deviancy. Not na tao. Okay, then of course, we have the types of uh, what we call, uh, hindi ko na makita. Okay, the police deviance. We have the police uh, gratuity. Pag sinabi natin police gratuity class, of course, uh, the receipt of free meals, uh, services, or discounts. Yung, uh, di ba kapag uh, police officer, kapag, uh, of course, meron naman talaga silang discounts na kapag sa mga, uh, ano, kapag bumibili ng mga meals, sa mga, ano, kasi of course, they are frontliners. Or sorry, there are frontliners, so they provide services for the people uh, on discount. So that is police gratuity. But of course, hindi naman yung ano ha, yung 100% na ililibre sila, pangit naman yun. But uh, of course, kahit aminin man natin, hindi, meron talang gumagawa nun sa organization. Then we have uh, uh, chiseling. When an officer is quite blatant in about demanding free services. Okay, sino yung ano? Uh, Naka-on siguro yung microphone ni ni Andrew, naka-on ang microphone niya. Okay, ang um, uh, chiseling naman, of course, when an officer is quite blatant in about demanding free services. Eh, sorry. Ibig sabihin, demand ng demand. So, lahat na lang for free. So, dapat hindi naman naabot sa ganon. So, yan. Then, of course, we have the uh, police shakedown. Ang uh, police shakedown, when the police officer extorts a business owner for protection money. Okay, so, ayan. 
So uh, ganito para um, uh, yung mga business owners para hindi namin isumbong yung ganito ganyan. So dapat magbayad kayo ng ganito ganyan. So that is police uh, shakedown. Of course iba naman yung pag-uusapan natin na shakedown class pagdating sa loob ng sa loob ng uh, ng presuhan or ng ating uh, mga jail or prison facilities. Then we have the police perjury. Ang police for perjury class of course that is uh, effect of an act of corruption leaving out certain pertinent pieces of information in order to fix a criminal prosecution okay perjury okay so ibig sabihin okay mag magsisinungaling ka okay so uh, out of court okay so yan yung kanatao na na perjury then we have the police brutality so the use of excessive force uh, name calling or uh, sarcasm ridicule and disrespect So bawal ang police brutality class. Okay? So yan yung uh, mga police uh, deviances na tinatawag natin. Deviance. Then we have uh, police profanity, uh, the use of obscene and profane, walang galang language, di ba? So bawal yan kapag uh, sa police officer ka, dapat of course, uh, dapat ikaw yung mag-set ng example. Okay? Dapat bawal yung mga yung uh, hayop ka mga ganyan ganyan and so on other uh, uh kubaga um, ano na siya foul words okay walang galang okay so obscene and so on then we have the use of uh, misuse okay uh, rather of confidential information so the misuse of confidential information it, it involves jeopardization of ongoing investigation so dapat as a member of the organization na ba or nasa investigation ka na assign so dapat na pangalagaan class yung tinatawag natin na information or na magagamit natin sa investigation okay hindi mo pwedeng hindi mo yan pwedeng i-leak or i-divulge yung information because sa uh, halimbawa hindi mo pwedeng ano yan kahit sa asawa mo ha, or sa misis mo or sa mister mo yung uh, sa friends relatives the public or the press okay so uh, kasi of course malalaman nila yung strategy niyo on how to uh, apprehend them misuse of confidential information kasi again meron tayong tinatawag na need to know basis kung sino lang yung pwedeng maka-access ng information na yan siya lang dapat yung maka-access kung wala kang wala kang authority behind that or over that information so dapat hindi mo yan i-divulge or hindi mo yan pwedeng i-leak yung information okay that is the misuse of confidential information sorry Ah, uh, meron tayong tinatawag na sex uh, on duty or duty related. Of course, number one, we have the traffic stops. Ang um, traffic stops to get closer look at a female or information about her. Okay, so ginagawa niyo ba 'to? Okay. Or wag niyo gagawin 'to kasi yung traffic stops, ibig sabihin na uh, hahiningin mo yung um uh, ano na, parang uh, uh, yung ginagawa mo is hindi na police officer or trabaho ng police officer. Okay, parang uh, kapag maganda, okay, diretso, walang problema. Kapag pangit, okay, dito, lahat. Ahalong ka din yung sa, lalo na sa may ano, no, sa traffic, ano ba, sa traffic, sa checkpoint. Okay, kapag bumaba, isi-check yung ano. So, yan yung traffic stop. Okay, dapat lahat, okay? Lalo na, kap, uh, minsan iba yung magaganda pa yung may dala na ano, yun pala, napalusot na. Then, we have the fox hunting. Ang fox hunting that is stopping uh, college girls to get uh, the I'll do anything routine. So that is the fox uh, hunting. Okay, college girls. Then voyeurism. Of course, alam niyo naman voyeurism. Uh, peeping tom or window peeping or interrupting lovers lane couples. Okay, so yan yung uh, voyeurism. Then we have the victim recontacts, uh, recontacts rather. So consoling victims who have psychological needs. So uh, then of course uh, we have the opposite sex uh, state searches touching and our sex with the jail mates okay that is sex on duty or duty related then uh, pag sinabi natin se sexual uh, shakedown of course um yan yung uh, tinatawag natin na uh, oh, sorry okay that is letting prostitutes go if they perform sex act okay that is uh, opposite or yung tinatawag natin na sexual shakedown. Okay, that is, dapat hindi mano ha. Okay, basahin mo ulit si, sino nga, uh, para makainawa ka ng buko. Si, uh, si, uh, Somoso. Somoso, nandyan ka. 
Ano nandiyan si Somoso? Yes, ah, okay, sige. Okay, pass. Okay. Sex on duty or duty-related. Number one, traffic stops. To get closer look at a female or information about her. Number two, uh, fox hunting. Stopping college girls to get the I'll do anything routine. Number three, virism. Windows, a uh, window peeping or interrupting lovers lane couples. Number four, victim recontacts. Console, uh, consoling uh, victims who have psychological needs. Number five, uh, opposite sex trip searches. Touching and or sex with jailmates. Number six, sexual shakedown. Letting prostitutes go if they perform six acts. Okay, thank you. Okay, so yung class yung mga uh, sex on duty or duty related. So dapat i-review nyo yung mamaya class ha, pa after natin uh, matapos ito. Okay, then of course we have the uh, PNP uh, stand on basic values. Okay, alam nyo naman yung uh, sa PNP stand on the basic values. So ang uh, pinapangalagaan natin unang-una dyan is yung... Uh, PNP image. Okay, so the PNP image is very important. Kasi kung uh, napapansin niyo, 'di ba nung nag-post ako about yung may nang comment na na-post ko sa page ko, ang dami ang ang hinanaing pala, ang dami pa nang galit sa police or ang daming galit yung, yung majority ng ng kababayan nating class. Galit na galit sila sa police. Okay, kasi ganito ganyan daw yung mga caption nila tiningnan ko eh. Kasi umabot ng ilang shares yun, 5,000 shares yung post ko. So uh, medyo ano pala no, medyo alarming. So kasi ganito yung mga pulis daw, ganito. So very important kasi yung uh, PNP image na tinatawag natin. So dapat mapangalagaan talaga yun. Kasi di ba uh, kapag ma uh, ano ba, yung ano ngayon, yung ano ngayon, yung na, nawawalang beauty queen tapos yung teacher, yung uh, di ba pulis rin yung ano yung um, ano doon yung suspect so yun rin na, nakadagdag na naman so it affects talaga class sa PNP image okay sa PNP image so meaning so the image of every organization affects this uh, spree, uh, is pretty core okay pag sinabi natin is pretty core class what is pretty core sige may idea kayo pag sinabi natin is pretty core i-comment nyo nga is pretty core No no idea. Wala pa kayong idea pag sinabi nating spread core class. Okay, pag sinabi nating spread core, okay, so meron ba? Ibig sabihin that is the uh, image, I don't know, that is the spirit or that is the union, okay? That is the uh, spirit or the union of an organization. Okay, it affects the spirit class. It affects the union of the organization. Kaya that's why, very important yung tinatawag natin na is pretty core. Okay? To to uh, to every organization. Wait lang, class, mag-move up. Wait lang. So... Okay. So, of course, uh, all members of the PNP should act in a manner that would reflect best on the PNP and live by the PNP core values. So, very important yung tanatawag natin na PNP image. So, kasi uh, yung, uh, yung uh, trabaho ng isa or yung uh, kagagawa ng isa, yun rin, it will affect yung lahat ng uh, lahat ng organization as a whole. So, kaya palaging uh, ano, sinasabi, bobo, ano ba yun? mga inutel, yung pulis daw, ganito ganyan. So dapat hindi yan ma-generalize no. Pero we cannot we cannot blame them. Kasi di ba under the uh, police service or under our ano, uh, fault of one is fault of all. Kaya yun rin yung siguro na apply ng ano no, ng mga ng community. So dapat class, uh, baguhin natin yung ano na yun, yung mindset nila na hindi ibig sabihin na pulis ganun no. So in every ano naman talaga merong ganun. So, hindi na sa PNP, di ba? So, that is the PNP image. Then, uh, of course, uh, we have the uh, police must endeavor to avoid negative values such as uh, immodest living or outside of modest uh, living. Okay, so... Uh, 
Okay. So again, pag sinabi natin uh, immodest living class, ibig sabihin, kung ano lang yung kaya mo, so dapat, uh, yun doon ka lang. Okay, hanggang doon ka lang. Immodest living. Outside of modest living. Or, haniwa, uh, wala ka namang, wala naman kayong kayamanan or wala naman kayong mga ari-arian. Tapos, uh, nung naging police officer ka, agad-agad natlo na yung sasakyan mo. Di ba? So, uh, tapos, uh, after that, uh, ano pa, makikita ka sa mga, ano, nakikita ka sa tao um, nito yung sa mga pang social di ba socialan so that is immodest living that is the uh, living outside of your modest life okay immodest living then we have the mistress maintenance okay so ayan uh, very uh, ano ta di ba ngayon so uh, mistress uh, maintenance uh, bigamous or polygamous okay so pag sinabi kasi yung bigamous ibig sabihin na uh, dalawa okay Polygamous naman, many. So, yan yung mistress maintenance. That is yung avoid. Yan yung dapat i-avoid class ng mga police officer. Then, of course, absentee uh, Sick with uh, malingin, <laughs> malinger, rita, ritais, uh, malinger. Okay, yung tanatawag natin na nagmamalinger. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi niya ginagawa yung trabaho niya. Malinger, uh, malinger ritis. Okay, and tardiness. Yan yung tanatawag natin na absentee sem. Then, of course, we have the Hudlum Alliance. Ang Hudlum Alliance, maintaining pickpockets and alliance with crime syndicates. May nakukuha ka doon na porsyento sa the days of Hudlum Alliance. Then, we have the Bata-Bata or Nakasandal sa Pader Syndrome. Okay, merong Bata-Bata, may protection. Okay, so yan. Then, we have the Hate Syndrome na pag-initan or pinainitan. Okay, sa so Hate Syndrome. This part is in a man, undesirable conduct and without regards to other, usually breeds trouble. Then we have indiscipline. Of course, lack of discipline or no self-control. Or halimbawa, di ba, sinasabi natin sa Constitution, dapat uh, apply the zero tolerance as much as possible. Do not apply force. So first, as a police officer, kasi you, you are a lack of self-control uh, control, or... Uh, Meron kang, of course, lack of discipline. So, uh, maapektuhan talaga yan. Okay, so we have the gossip or double talk. Okay, discordant, confusing, or psychological conduct. Then, uh, okay, yun. So, of course, class, we have the professional conduct and ethical standards na sinusunod natin. So, of course, standard for police professionalism. So, we have the commitment to democracy. Ibig sabihin, um, ano natin, we are uh, democratic. So, dapat yun yung uh, yung rule of democracy. Dapat, ano yan. So, ibig sabihin ng rule of democracy, ang uh, yung mas makapangirihan yung mga tao, or yung tao, yung mas makapangirihan Okay, so then we have commitment to public interest. Pag sinabi natin non-partisanship class, okay, ang non-partisanship, ibig sabihin, halimbawa during election, When you are a police officer or when you are a public officer, employee, teacher, kaman, or police officer, so dapat you must uh, not show interest to one particular group. Hindi mo pwedeng uh, i-endorse sa uh, Facebook mo or hindi mo pwedeng i-endorse kahit saan na ganito yung butuhin ninyo. Kasi dapat non-partisan ka. Wala kang dapat i-endorse or wala kang kakampihan. Okay, pwede, pwede, pwede kang bumoto pero huwag mong sabihin na ito yung bumoto ninyo. Yan yung tinatawag natin na non-partisanship. Yung uh, physical fitness and health naman, of course, so kailangan nun yan. Then, of course, uh, secrecy discipline. Ang secrecy discipline, ibig sabihin, yung uh, intelligence data or confidential information, dapat alamin mo kung yung tinatawag natin again uh, na yung need to know basis. Kung sino lang dapat yung pwedeng maka-access ng information na yan, siya lang dapat. Okay? So, yun yung secrecy discipline. Then, of course, we have the uh, social awareness. Uh, sa police officer, dapat aware ka sa nangyayari sa, sa paligid mo. Kung ano yung magiging action mo. So, ano ba yung, ano ba yung recent na trip or yung pamamaraan ng mga, mga criminals. So, social awareness. Non-solicitation of patronage. Proper care and use of public property. Respect for human rights. Very important. So, dapat alamin mo na dapat kasi kapag hindi mo inespero yung human rights that is against the constitution then of course above all you have devotion to duty okay conservation of natural resources 
of course dapat kapag nakita mo may nagmimina diyan uh, may um, uh, tawag nito may nagmimina so of course dapat na ano mo uh, tanungin mo kung may permit sila or wala to operate then discipline kailangan din yan uh, loyalty to your country ibig sabihin you have a sense of nationalism uh, obedience to superior then of course we have the command responsibility Then, of course, we have the uh, police customs and courtesy class. Ang salute, that is the uh, highest form of respect. Again, pag sinabi natin salute, that is the highest form of respect. Pag sinabi natin uh, salute, kasi ang sinasalutan natin is the person intended to salute. Ibig sabihin, yung mas nangataas sa atin. Hindi naman pwedeng uh, yung mas mataas sa atin na, na rank ko, sila ang magsasalute sa atin. Okay? So, that is wrong. Salute that is the uh, highest form of respect. Then second, of course, aside from that, uh, yung, uh, those intended for salute, second then, of course, yung uh, national color or our national flag. Kapag dadaan yan, so of course, we must uh, pay respect or isa sa magsasalute tayo dyan. Then, uh, ang address and title naman, class, tanda nyo, the proper address or title na kailangan natin, of course, the uh, mom and sir. Okay, so yan. Good morning, mom and sir. So that is the proper address or title. So we already discussed that one on the ba nung last time. Then we have the courtesy calls. Ah, pag sinabi tayong courtesy calls, sabi sabi niyo must pay respect to your superior. Ah, whether ma promote ka man, ma exit ka man, or ma transfer ka sa isang um station or ah New Year's call or yung ah tinatawag natin na na Christmas call. Okay, so ayan. Pag sinabi tayo courtesy call, you must pay uh, respect to the uh, authorities or to the higher. Okay, so of course, we have the customs in courtesy calls class. So courtesy calls are newly assigned appointed member. Of course, kapag uh, appointed member ka dyan or kakapasok mo lang, so dapat you pay respect to your superior again. Then New Year's call. So meaning, kapag uh, as a police officer or as a, as a chief of police, Kapag may uh, New Year's call, uh, you pay respect to the uh, governor or to the mayor. Okay? So, promotion call naman, when you are promoted to the next higher rank, so dapat mag-pay uh, respect ka rin, di ba? Magpasalamat or ma-inform ma na ganit na yung rank mo. Then, uh, of course, we have the exit call. Ang exit call naman, kapag aalis ka na or matatransfer or mag-exit ka na, then uh, courtesy of the post, Then rank has its own privilege. Ibig sabihin, RHIP, the rank has its own privilege. Wait until you become. Okay, so yeah. Rank has its own privilege. Then, uh, of course, we have the police customs and ceremonies. So we have the flag raising ceremony. Kailan natin, class, uh, ginagawa yung flag raising ceremony? Again, what kailan natin uh, ginagawa yung flag raising ceremony? Please answer. Of course, class, ang uh, flag raising ceremony, that is uh, Monday morning. Okay, ginagawa natin yung flag raising ceremony Monday morning. How about naman flag lowering ceremony? Kailan natin ginagawa ang flag lowering ceremony? Kailan? Okay. So, ang flag blowing ceremony, that is uh, Friday afternoon class. Okay, Friday afternoon. Then, we have the half mast. Okay, anong ibig sabihin class? Kapag naka-half mast ang ating, ating uh, watawat. Okay, so, ano yung indication yan? Or ano yung pinaparating yan? Halimbawa, sa isang agency, naka-half mast. Ano yun? Anong ibig sabihin nun? Okay, so ibig sabihin class, nagluluksa. Okay, so um, they are, uh, ang term natin dyan, M-O-U-R-N-I-G. Okay, good morning. Okay, so yan. Uh, or nakikiramay. Or they, uh, they pay respect sa namatay nilang uh, 
uh, sa namatay nilang uh, ano class, namatay nilang member sa organization kasi of course uh, maybe yung member of the organization nila ay uh, merong uh, tinatawag natin na uh, significant contribution sa kanila or very important person. Of course, uh, funeral service and honors. So, ginagawaran, di ba? Ng, ano yun? 21s, uh, gun salute. Tawa ba? Okay, so yun yung police, customs, and ceremony class. Okay, so yan. Yeah. Okay, so of course, we have the ceremony tender to retirees kasi every year, kapag ma-reach nila yung uh, retiring age, so they, bibigyan nyo sila yung class ng uh, retirement ceremony. The honor ceremony kapag yung mga ano ba uh, nagbuwis buhay sila mag nabibigay ng mga na mga medal of valor or yung mga outstanding uh, accomplishment ng member lalo na na sa PNP okay turnover ceremony okay so ano ba uh, ang isang police officer or isang uh, chief officer rather ay the police officer or uh, CPO police rather class or COP sa isang municipality uh, magkakaroon ng turnover ceremony kapag malipat na naman siya sa isang station okay turnover ceremony then we have the wedding ceremony of course the anniversary so yan yung mga anniversaries then uh, of course we have the police customs class on social decorum Ah uh, dapat eh, i-observe niya yung tinatawag natin na proper attire. Dapat of course class nakaplancha yan na <laughs> yan yung una-una. Then we have the table manners. Kung ano yung dapat uh, ano nila so hindi yung kukuha ka ng lahat-lahat kukunin mo na. So dapat of course uh, by set or yung mayroon ka parang tinatawag na rin na etiquette or my table manners. Then of course social graces. Ah uh, dapat alam mo rin paano makipag-usap. Okay, paano mag uh, pa, kailan ka magsasalita at kailan ka hindi pwedeng magsalita. Then uniform appearance, okay? So dapat kung ano yung uh, ano yung pinaka snappiest or ano yung pinaka standard yun yung sundin. Uh, wearing or prescribed uniform, adherence to haircut, prescribed by rules and regulations. Dapat yung haircut mo na ayon yan class sa rules and regulations ng organization. Then of course the manner of walking. Okay, so your manner of walking, paano maglakad, or paano madalhin yung sarili mo is very much important. Okay, so yan. Then, of course, we have the other police custom class uh, visiting the sick, okay, in the organization or in the, uh, in, the uh, in the community, survivor assistance to heirs and of deceased members, visiting the religious leaders, kasi of course, kailangan na yan. Then of course, di ba kapag Sunday, nag-assist rin yung mga police officers sa loob ng simbahan. Sorry, athletics and of course, we have, meron tayong tanatawag class na happy hours. Okay, ang happy hours class, of course, meron talaga yung mga happy hours ha, na ibig sabihin na uh, mag, maglalabas sa mga police, mag-usap-usap, uh, magkakaroon ng kwentuhan. So yan, happy hours. Okay, so tandaan nyo lang pag sinabi natin tradition again, uh, it is the body of beliefs, the stories, customs, and uh, usages handed down from generation to generation with the effect of unwritten law. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo yan na nakikita. Unwritten land. Unwritten law. So, halimbawa, yung spiritual beliefs, uh, valor, uh, patriotism, of course, uh, discipline, and gentlemanliness. I already discussed that one kanina. Okay. Then, of course, a uh, word of honor that is integrity, your duty, what your, your task or your assignment. Loyalty, of course, nationalism, camaraderie is the brotherhood. So, again, class, pag sinabi natin police-community relations, there is the sum total dealings between police and the people. Ibig sabihin, the, uh, the police plus community or police plus individual or people, ang tawag natin doon, class, sa relationship nila, class, is the police community relations. Okay? So that is the sum total dealings between the police and the people. Okay, so the police should be alert to assist the public in every way possible. Uh, receiving complaints from citizens. So the police should be afforded to a suitable reception. Of course, class, the complaint desk officer uh, should be alert. Avoid uh, ignoring a timid citizen. 
then uh, full attention be given to complaint. Should be given ample opportunity to tell her story, receiving complaints and criticism against the police, legitimate complaints against police officers, and so on. Of course, class, ang isa pa sa pinakamahalagang um, role na ginagampanan ng police class is to appear as a witness. So, kapag nag appear siya sa witness class, yung na-explain natin sa criminal law, saan siya ngayon mag appear or saan siya ngayon in favor? Sa prosecution ba? Or sa tinatawag natin na defense? Sige, sagutin nyo sa comment section. Saan ngayon mag-witness or saan ngayon mag uh, in favor si police officer? Okay, very good. Okay, of course, class, automatically, walang ibang sagot dyan, always in favor of the prosecution. Okay, ibig sabihin, the uh, victim or representing the government. So, witness in a criminal case, witness in a civil case, and act action after court attendance. Okay, so, yan. Okay, so, natapos na natin, class, ang uh, professional standard uh, and prof uh, yung ethics and uh, standards. Of course, balikan nyo lang ma mamaya yung ating recording. Then, of course, meron tayong uh, criminological research. Uh, kung hindi tayo maka makaklase mamayang gabi class, uh, bukas ng umaga, matapos na natin ang research 1 and 2 kasi medyo mahaba yung research 1 and 2 kasi maraming question dito. Uh, I'm sure pagdating sa board exam. Kasi mostly ng mga lecturers rin, ito rin yung ginagamit na presentation, yung presentation ko yung kinukuha nila. So, of course, class, hindi tayo madamon. Nakadepende na yan sa pag-explain nila. So, bukas, uh, or bukas or mamaya kapag medyo maganda yung ano, magkaklase tayo. Pero kapag wala, ako, wala akong ano, class, ibig sabihin bukas na. Criminological research. Uh, research 1 and 2. Of course, that is the research methods with applied statistics and teaching, writing, and presentation. So, kailangan natin ng isang araw dito yung sa criminological research na yan. Para after that, we will proceed sa uh, criminalistics. Okay, ready naman di ba? Nabigay ko na yung presentation ko sa criminalistics. Dapat mas advanced kayo doon. But of course, meron pa akong isang presentation na i-insert natin. Okay, class? Okay, so thank you everyone for joining our discussion. So, God bless and uh, stay safe. Okay, di ba? Madali lang ang ating uh, ano.